Hello and welcome to Mrs. Energy. I am here with your weekly love reading for my lovely Cappies. This will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and its cross watchers for the time frame of February 7th through February 13th, okay? Um, if you would like a personal reading, just reach out to me on Wizio. It's where it's a little bit more streamlined. It has my cheaper readings as well. And, um... It's also a 15% discount for Valentine's Day, so take part, okay, guys? I will have a raffle coming up soon, so I will be able to give you details on that. I believe I'm going to be raffling probably a deck of cards or so. I'm just trying to decide on what it's going to be. But right now, you can take part in the 15% off on Wizio, okay? Um, that uh, link is in the description box below. Also, if you want one of my more in-depth readings, you can reach out to me at mrvenergy at gmail.com. And this is where I have my longer pre-records, my Skype sessions where we can talk face-to-face -face like this, and my uh, phone sessions, okay, and my specialized readings. You can hit me up at the email address, like I said, mrvenergy at gmail.com. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, hit that bell. But not only hit that bell, when you click the bell, it'll say... What type of notifications you want to say that you want all of them so that you are not um because you can't just click the bell because it'll be like some of them or whatever youtube chooses for your ass to look at okay so when you click the bell it'll show all or some or some shit like that excuse me make sure you guys hit all also if you guys could unsubscribe and resubscribe right now um to Get it back circulating so you can get notifications if you're having a problem getting those, okay? That does help. So unsubscribe, resubscribe, okay? If this reading resonates for you, you can put blue or purple hearts. I'll do blue for the guys, purple for the ladies, or you can do both, whichever you prefer. Um, and uh, so to let me know if it resonates or not, okay? If you're a new subscriber, just say hello in the comments. I love to see my new subbies. And um, how this reading goes, it's a weekly love read, okay? Now, it can be past, present, or future energy. We're all on different timelines, okay, guys? So don't get worked up. If it doesn't resonate this week, there are 999,000 other readers out there. Check them out. Come back next week. Or you can always get a personal reading where I tap into your own individual read energy instead of 30,000 people, okay? Because y'all be wanting precise cut readings and baby, you are sharing this energy with everybody and their mama, all right? Get you a reading. They 15% off right now. So, anywho, uh, is that all the updates? I believe it's so. Um, After this reading, you guys can check out the Daily Wusa. I will be doing that. So, you guys can check that out as well, okay? And any other, the weekly uh, what's up, check that out as well. It gives you the weekly collective energy or anything happening like on a global scale. Okay. So, just let me know. All right, I'm saying, just letting you know. I, don't know. I was daydreaming for a second there. All right, so we're almost ready here. And how I do this uh, reading is that I do the energy around the situationship, their energy towards it for you and your energy towards them or the situation okay and then we uh clarify with tarot and my um that my other special deck i can't think of it right now the name of it all right guys so we're gonna get started these cards are flying out y'all must have wanted uh homegirl to hurry up huh and anybody that's doing the um, meditation challenge, check out the community tab. We're do working on the root tracker this week. Holy Spirit, let me know that everybody needs to get grounded and in the correct energy. Because, you know, we got to be prepared for whatever comes our way, okay? It'll probably be all found out while we were doing this, all right? And the ones that have been participating in the challenge, I left a meditation on the community tab. So you can check that out or you can use one of your own. If you're not into meditating, you can work out. Try to eat healthier this week. Try to go to bed on time. It's different things that you can do to ground yourself, okay? And also, I incorporate meditation with praying as well. But, you know, up to you. I'm not sure what you like to do. So, like I said, it's up to you. So, we're going to get started, Capricorn. Let's get it. So, um, cards that came out is Opportunity. TikTok. Forgiving and Learning. Patience. Memories of Love, which is also the Six of Cups. Passion. Cook a fucking meal. Home food, homemade food is for play. And release. Okay? So the energy that I'm getting around this is... Um, this is a connection that, indeed, still has the passion. 
uh, could be very passionate. You guys could have great, you know what, together. Woohoo. Okay. Um, I feel like something that happened, but um, it could have been a breakup, a separation, an argument, whatever. Um, we have released two times. Um, I'm hearing to release the feelings that go with this. Okay. It's time to let those feelings go. So you can have a uh, resentment toward this person or still be mad or whatever the case. Um, it's, it, we're saying to let it go because there's an opportunity that's going to come your way in regards to this six of cups. Definitely feel like this is coming back around. This is like reconciliation. Also a cook, a, cook a effing meal, homemade food is foreplay. Um, somebody might like your cooking. Okay. And like I said, if you don't have money or whatever the case is, you can always cook somebody a good meal for Valentine's Day, okay? This is going into the weekend, so I'm sure some romance will come out in regards to Valentine's Day. Because uh, Valentine's Day is really on Monday, I believe. But, you know, a lot of people going to be celebrating this weekend because they work and they want to do fun stuff. And who? what better time to do it than on the weekend? Okay, so some of you guys could be cooking for someone for Valentine's Day or somebody could be cooking for you. Or you're just cooking somebody a meal this week or somebody wants a meal, okay? That's not for everybody. Take the meat and leave the bones all right but yeah somebody could feel like they are on borrowed time in regards to uh showing you an opportunity okay so somebody is going to need to have patience because something is coming back around okay for some uh some of you guys could be uh dealing with a cook or you could be a cook as well okay it's saying to forgive and learn um so whatever it is forgive and release okay Mm -hmm. I'm here to forgive and let live. Yeah, because something's, somebody's coming back with an opportunity. Like I said, it might be coming in fast because they feel like they're on borrowed time. Or maybe they want to do this for Valentine's Day or something like that, okay? All right, so let's look at your energy. And then, of course, we're going to clarify all this so we can go deeper when we get into the tarot portion. We have romance. Romance, for sure. Be assertive. I'm here. Be aggressive. Got to be aggressive. Be aggressive i don't know why i hear that maybe you're being aggressive or somebody's being aggressive for you i don't know why i hear when i start cheerleading this shit you have romance you also have soulmates this can be a very deep connection heart to heart conversations uh crown chakra so it could be some type of enlightenment we have courage we have you fucked up yeah it's your fault i'm sorry it's coming up in your your side capricorn i usually don't try to the people that the reading's for i usually hope that they're not the bad person but it's coming up like you did something, okay? But, you know, you can flip-flop it if you have to, okay? We have sacred space, ego, and forgiveness. Again, so this has something to do with some type of fucking forgiveness. Um, I have to read it the way it comes up. It looks as though you are trying to find the courage. Um, I'm trying to find some ideas to... Uh, you fucked up, so you're trying to get back in good. It could have been because of your ego, pride, um... Like I said, I felt like a, a conversation. I feel like on your end, you're, you're trying to be assertive, be aggressive in regards to this. Uh, maybe you really want to talk to somebody. Maybe you're badgering somebody to talk to them because we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with the soulmates. So somebody wants to talk. They've had some type of enlightenment. Maybe they want, Maybe you want to apologize. Um, you're trying to find the courage to do this. I feel like maybe it was the, you were the one that dropped the ball, Capricorn. But like I said, it could be reversed, but it's coming up on your end that you fucked up. This is in your energy. Or maybe you're telling somebody they fucked up, okay? Um, I feel like it's a little ego here because somebody was kind of like scared to ask for forgiveness or scared to have this conversation. Somebody's trying to get the courage up. I feel like they could um, actually gain, I'm hearing garner, garner the courage to do so. Um, and this is, could be why you're getting the beat of assertive, okay? Because it's like somebody has to muster up the courage to have this conversation. And it's like, especially if you have a lot of ego and you fucked up. Oh, that is the worst. Because I'm like a Libra with all that Scorpio. And baby, I hate apologizing, but I will. My Libra will override it and be like, you know that one, right? Apologize. So, uh, and I have integrity. So, I will apologize. I don't be happy about the shit. Like, I'm sorry. I fucked up. I mean, my bad. You know what I'm saying? I don't be liking it. But, uh, and you guys are cappy. I don't think y'all like doing that either, all right? My mom's a cappy, believe me, I know. Um, but yeah, it's saying be assertive with this, um, because this can come back together. Somebody has to forgive, okay? And you might have a short window of time to have this conversation, so, so you might want to get on it, okay, cappy? So we're going to look at your person's energy, and then it'll start to make sense when we clarify. See, we have unlikely, happy, happy. Finances and career. 
patience. Oh my God, you got patience. They got pa well, no, no, they got patience, and then it's patience in the overall self esteem, sexual union. Somebody fuck feelings. Okay, that's you have logic for a reason. Use it and free will. So I feel like on the other end, your per person. Whatever happened, it kind of affected their self-esteem, okay? They're trying to get their happy place back, all right? They might feel like it's unlikely to forgive, okay? It's like they're saying, fuck feelings. You know, they're trying to get out of their feelings, but whatever happened uh, kind of hit their ego, okay? So it's like, yeah, the choices and decisions are on their end are on their end. So like I said, I feel like maybe you did something and on their end, I'm here for some, somebody uh, could have told somebody they were broke, they need a better job. This could have uh, attacked this person's self-esteem. This could be what you're apologizing for. Okay. You could have said this person needs to do better, but maybe in a, cause you know, you're a Capricorn, you're all about your coins. So maybe this person didn't measure up um, financially, monetarily. Okay. This person was like happy in their little job. Yeah, I'm saying little job. Like, maybe they had, like, a little job and you had a career. Because I don't say things like that. Your little job. I mean, I don't care what nobody works. As long as you bring it in the coins, okay? Now, if you're the type of person to come home and complain every day, then you need to find another goddamn job. But other than that, I'm fine. Bring in some money and you're good. Yeah, this person was, like, happy in their position. This is not going to be for everybody, but this is what I'm picking up. And it's like, you know, they, like, be patient with me. I'm trying to do better. Mm hmm. And this could have been like a self esteem hit. So it's like if somebody says something in regards, like you could be more assertive than them as well. Maybe if somebody is like a stay home partner, maybe it's like you want them to cook and do the house stuff. Ah, this is weird. But I feel like this person is going to get some type of opportunity, okay? And they, and it's like more money, more. Somebody needs to have patience with someone in regards to that. Mm-hmm. So right now, I, I feel like this person is kind of like, you know, releasing it right now. Like, I feel like somebody hurt someone's feelings. I don't feel like it was like a drag out argument. But I do feel like it was like an ego hit. It hit this person's self-esteem. They might not want to talk to you right now, okay? You might can get back in this person's good graces if you cook, like, a nice meal. They might like your cooking. That might be, like, their soft spot, okay? Or vice versa. But I do feel like this will come back together. Somebody could be telling somebody, just talk to me. Just pick up the phone. Just answer, okay? So we're going to start, uh, yeah, somebody could have also told somebody that, you know, this is just sex, you know, like... I didn't really, you know, have my feelings all into it. Because we got passion here. We got sexual union. Mm-hmm. But it's like a um, strong connection, though, even though. So maybe somebody was like, you know, we just have sex. Somebody could be having sex for money. At random. Or like a stripper. Maybe somebody has like a... um. What's the word? A job that is like in, uh, I don't know why I just heard deceptive practice. What? Maybe somebody has a job in like something that's, uh, not the, uh, status quo. Okay. If that makes sense. Like, you know, maybe stripping or like tarot reading or, you know, those are like weird things that people are like taboo. Maybe it's like a taboo job. Okay. A bottle girl or some shit. But it comes up on the other person's side, male or female. All right. Um... I'm hearing pay for play. What is going on? Maybe somebody doesn't want somebody to have like a stripper job or a job like that. And it's like, you need to find something better. Like maybe you hurt this person's feelings. Like you need a real job. But you're happy where you are though. And it's like, maybe you're trying to save up to uh, have patience to do something better, but you're trying to save up for it. Okay. So they're trying to save up for it. So we're going to go into the uh, tarot. Yeah, this might not be for everybody, but this is the message, and that's how we go. That's how we go. That's how we go. Okay, so let's pull on um over here. So if, if somebody could be saying, like, fuck your feelings about it. I don't care how you feel. It makes me happy. If it's not a job or anything like that, maybe this person is like, they do something where it's like, I don't care how you feel. I'm doing what makes me happy, all right, in regards to career. Or maybe they have, like, a hobby, or they're, like, an artist where it doesn't bring in as much money. 
And it's like, I really want to do this. That somebody wants to be supported. And somebody else feels like somebody needs to be a little bit more assertive, okay? So somebody could have said some things they can't take back. Let's pull on finances. Maybe somebody has to travel really far for work or they're gone for days at a time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever they do, they're looked at highly, though. Like, say, if it was a stripper, she like the best one in that motherfucker. You hear me? <laughs> so it's either they don't bring in enough coins or the job that they do have is, like, Make you look at them. You might not want to tell your family at Thanksgiving what your person does, okay? <laughs> what does she do? What does he do? What a stripper. Or, you know, whatever. The, I'm just using stripper as an example. I'm not downing anybody. I got stripper friends and all type of stuff. So, I'm not judging nobody. So, let's pull on this fuck feelings. Shoot, too many. Yeah, I told you. It's somebody's occupation. They don't give a fuck how you feel about their occupation and how they do it. This is their path. This is their journey. Occupation came right out on sexual union. Somebody could be an escort, okay? Like I said, I know this isn't for everybody. Or it's like, if it's none of that, it's a job that you don't like them doing. It doesn't matter what it is. They could be a CEO. It's like you're gone all the time. You got to travel. You got to get on planes and shit. I don't like it, okay? And it's like, it's unlikely. Let me want to quit this goddamn job, Barbara, okay? I don't know why I said Barbara. Maybe somebody's name is Barbara. Uh, let's see. Let's pull feelings on this occupation card. Yeah, failure. Like, people think they're a failure because of their occupation. Or maybe they have, like, a business and it's going down. And it's like, man, just give it up. But they're like, this is my passion. Uh. Or it's, like, moving really slow. Yeah, surrender. Somebody wants somebody to, like, Start over, like maybe reevaluate what they want to do in life or something like that, okay? Mm hmm. For some, they feel like they're a failure in their occupation. Somebody could have lost a job, okay? I'm going to pull on this unlikely. I'm going to pull these ass. I need to feel pull this. Yeah, on the unlikely, the no came. Community. Yeah, it's like, uh, this wouldn't be accepted in the community, whatever it is. Maybe they're a drug dealer. I don't care. I don't know. Maybe they didn't cocktail shit. I don't know. But somebody is like, I don't like it. Okay? So I'm going to pull on your side to see, um... Here we go. So it's saying, be assertive. Crown chakra, like, what's come to your mind? Somebody has an idea. And it's like ego is like maybe you feel like your occupation is better. Yeah, be assertive with despair, okay? Yeah, you want to be assertive. You got an idea because um, maybe somebody ended this connection and now you're sad. I'm noticing the not hiring card right here, okay? Like you want somebody to put it in. Maybe this person doesn't have a job at all. You want somebody to put it into their, uh, maybe somebody's feeling sorry for themselves. You're like, you need to. Be assertive. Somebody could be offended because you're telling them to get their shit together as well, Cappy. Because y'all don't play that shit. Y'all stay with some money. Y'all stay working, okay? Every Capricorn I know is a hard worker. The ones I know. I don't know no bum Capricorns. I don't. Yeah, we got community here. Yeah, you don't want anybody looking at your person less than. Your person is taking it personal. But you're looking at it like, no, I just don't want people to look and be talking and whispering when we walking down the street, you know? Aw, but it seems like you do love them. Let's put a card on the you fucked up. Yep. On the you fucked up, it's a message of concern. Maybe you sent some type of bogus message. Or maybe somebody messaged you and you replied fucked up. Yeah. I'm hearing some gave somebody their walking papers. Remember somebody was like, you can go then. You can just go. It's a lot going on here. But there needs to be some type of heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Let's pull on that. Yeah, we got heart-to-heart -heart conversation with the family room, okay? So you guys could be talking at the home in this conversation. 
Um, I am going to pull on Memories of Love. Oh, that popped right out. Yeah, uh, some type of reconciliation coming around with a gift. Somebody might try to make something better with a gift or a dinner. I'm going to pull on this opportunity that has the clock. Yeah, somebody wants somebody to relax. Yeah, somebody's, somebody's going to hear someone out. But they're going to be looking like, go ahead and talk. Do you have people be looking dry as hell? Go ahead and talk. For some, it's like they, they their occupation, they make really good money. So, it's like, you're not going to talk them out of this. Like, look how the, the I'm seeing your person is like the judge, okay? Uh, some of you guys could be dating a judge or something. I see some, I'm hearing conflict of interest. I don't know why. Um, But it's like, it's like, look at their face. They're like, yeah, whatever. You can give me all the pleads you want, but this is good money and I ain't stopping, all right? Whatever it is. Yeah. For some, it could be somebody that just travel a lot for work. They have to. They have meetings, deadlines. I'm talking like big traveling, like out of the country and shit for days at a time. Okay. So, like I said, it's either like an underhanded job or it's like a, a really got to travel a lot. I mean, trains, steamboats, planes, they got to get there. Okay. Big traveling. So, we're going to pull on the uh, outcome. Holy Spirit and Archangel. What is the outcome on this? Yeah, not for you. Because we had unlikely not for you. Somebody says no. Somebody does not want to quit their job. Somebody doesn't want a better job. Or they don't want to be rushed to get a job. Yeah. In regards to, yeah, the male energy. It could be the male in this connection. You you might want them to do better. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to stop this. This is how I get my money. Somebody could also want handouts. And it's like, you know what? Ask me for another goddamn dime, all right? It's a wrap. Somebody feels like somebody is an opportunist. Mm-hmm. I'm here. Yeah, they, they want you to give them things on a platter. For someone that doesn't want to work. Okay. Yeah, go the distance. It's like, you know what? You need to do better. I'm just hearing somebody say do better. So like I said, if it's a male or female or whatever, somebody's sorry. Okay. Maybe they were a little too harsh, too aggressive, too assertive. They want to make it up. They want to get back together. They could be giving you a gift. Okay. So I'm going to pull a little tarot. Holy Spirit of Archangels, what energy is coming towards the Capricorn in regards to this? What's going on with this? And it's crazy when I was shuffling my other deck, getting ready. When I get ready for you guys' reading, certain cards pop out. That Princess of Swords from this deck came out. And y'all know that's the lady. Let me show you what it looks like. You know, that's the lady that's sitting in the chair doing a, like a um, a dance in the chair right here. This is what showed to me at the beginning. Like I said, somebody could be a, an exotic dancer or of some sort. Or like a bottle girl, a call girl, whatever. Or vice versa for a man too. Maybe somebody was doing this behind the scenes and it got found out. But people like you there. People like People like this person. They have, like, fans and shit. What is going on? But this bird is the other person. Maybe they don't like you in the spotlight in that way. They take it as in a negative way. People looking at your body. They're doing this. See, told you. Eight of Pentacles. It's the work. It's the work. It's somebody's fucking job. We have the occupation card. We have the Eight of Pentacles. That's work for sure. But it's like this person's back is turned, so their work don't really know what they're doing. They're kind of, like, hiding what they do for work. They could have a job they work at night. See a lot of candles here. This is crazy. Clarify Eight of Pentacles. And it's like somebody could show up at somebody's job like, what are you doing here? Yeah, somebody could. Well, I just said that and I said somebody could show up at somebody's job and here we go with the chariot. Somebody be like, man, this is what you're doing? Or I got to see this shit in real live action. Mm-hmm. Somebody pops up on somebody at work. 
Let's clarify the Ace of Swords. Somebody's really in their head about this. Again, like Page of Wands. I see like dancing and maybe somebody just regularly dances. Maybe somebody's parents don't approve of their work. But the Queen of Pentacles wanted to pop out on the Six of Wands. Somebody makes good money though. But somebody else is burdened by it. Like, I don't like you doing this. Yeah, Queen of Cups. It's like, you know what? I'm not going to quit, all right? Yeah, you know what this Queen of Cups? Mm-hmm. See, um, yeah, this person, they started doing this when they were really down and out. Five of Pentacles, whatever it is. Like I said, drugs, dancing, you know, whatever it is, okay? You could be a telemarketer. They're annoying, too, okay? It's like, I get a better job. People used to always say that when I used to, I was young, and I started working from home, and I would get a lot of telemarketers. They'd be like, won't you get a real job? They used to hurt my feelings because I was like 22, and I was like, I do got a real job. <laughs> it could even be that. Maybe a job that people don't like. Okay, but this person had to figure something out and then they started manifesting. Okay, so they feel like, man, this got me out the mud. Like, I'm not going to stop doing this shit. Especially, like, say if it's drugs or some shit. Like, I don't like you selling drugs. Yeah, they, they, this helps them. They, they were fucked up before. They had to figure something out. So this is what they had to do. Okay, they had to manifest so they can become financial. Uh, so they can become financially stable. Nine of Pentacles and independent. This brings them their independence. But like I said, somebody could travel a lot for work, and it's just annoying in regards to a connection. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces, a Cancer. Somebody just can't seem to see this from a different view. They tried to see it from different angles. They're like, nah, but I don't like that shit. Yeah, Queen of Wands. This is beautiful. It's like a beautiful person, uh, full of energy, sexy, okay? doing what, Yeah, this person is free, doing what they want. They like doing this. This is self-expression. Like I said, it could be like an artist or something like that as well. It doesn't have to be like any other job. I said before, an artist, a musician, whereas people are like, get a real job. Here's somebody say, get a real job. That's what I'm fucking hearing. Okay, like people used to get down on me. YouTube is not a real job. Well, they give they give out real checks. The fuck, but you know, if you're a YouTuber or a reader or anything, I'm sure you probably heard that before. But this gives this person their wish fulfillment. Okay, and they get their coins and they like it. Yeah, lots of money. They make good money. Like I said, if they are an exotic dancer or anything like that, people like them. Maybe somebody's uh jealous. Like I said, somebody's dream could be to be a dancer or something. Mm -hmm. We got the ace of, uh, I mean the ace, the fool. Some of you guys be dealing with an Aries, but this this makes this person feel free. They don't want any restraint. They don't want you to restrain them. They like I'm grown and I have free will. Okay, mind your business. See, they, free will came up under them. I'm gonna fucking jump. Okay, that's because I want to do that. Yeah. Um, somebody feels a little judged or, you know. All right. Also, it could be that somebody was offered an opportunity that someone may not like. And it's like, well, I got to reply back in three days. So you're going to have to get over it because I am going to reply back and I am going to get that job. I know you don't like the job, but oh fucking well. Okay. They're going to hear your side of it. Like, okay, maybe this is going to happen in the heart to heart. I'm going to hear your side, but... This offer is a lot of money, all right? And I got to it's time. I'm hearing this like time sensitive, okay? So that is your reading, Capricorn. I know that's not for everybody, but, you know, it is what it is. That's what came out. I love you guys. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when I'm dropping another video, okay? Also, try to subscribe and unsubscribe and resubscribe, like, right now really quick. And it'll, um, so we can get it back working because the notifications, they be tweaking, all right? Love you guys. And until next time, if you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box below. Bye-bye.